What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take? So I'm not sure much in the ring now, so you can hear us. This is Lewis Wardrobe and Cody Jones, Scotland vs Wales. Lewis Wardrop in the red corner and Cody Jones boxing in the blue. Lewis Wardrop in the blue corner representing Wales, Cody Jones. So if you're watching online, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We go back into ring number two, result of contest number one. An exceptionally close contest. Before we declare the official result, please give appreciation for the boxers in the ring. So they're just about to announce the winner of bout number one in ring we number have two. A three to two split the You'll see the top of your screen there. So Caden Wallace from Wales gets the one over Liam Mohan. And here we go with round number one of bout number two. 54 kg bantamweight Lewis Wardrobe in the red corner representing Scotland and Cody Jones from Wales in the blue corner. So don't forget there is a link um, in the comments but you can go back to the Boxing Scotland main YouTube channel if you want to switch over to to ring number two we don't have commentary uh, so you need to just commentate yourselves <laughs> <laughs> So I've seen Lewis um, box a lot, not recently, I've not seen him since I think the last uh, GBs. But he's very comfortable in the ring, uses that, that ring space really, really well. I see Cody being, trying to be the busier boxer as Lewis. Stays on the back foot and reacts. Always that be a nice side step.
It's a nice wee pace to this bout. Corey continuing to try to be busy up. Hey Lewis doing well on the counter strikes. Final 10 seconds of round number one from bout number two. And there's a the bell. So I know you were busy, didn't you? Yeah, sorry, I was trying to, to post a couple, uh, a couple of things. Um, but nice wee pace to this this bout. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've seen Lewis. In fact, the last time was the GBs, um, which he won last year yeah, down last in Barnsley. Year. Yeah, so um, that was the at junior. This is now up at youth. Yeah. But he won the junior uh, 50 kilogram uh, gold. So he's up four kilos in the last year. It's interesting to see the weights how they grow because some of them are the same weight. That's 12 months ago. And then there's some others, like Sunny Care has gone yeah. up 7 kilos yeah. in 12 <laughs> months. So obviously they're all developing at different uh, different levels. And there's some of them walking down there. Yeah. I love how people just come and interrupt. They don't, they don't yeah. think we're sitting here. I know, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's harmless. Um, so... This yep. is the GB Junior and Youth Three Nations Championships here at Ravenscraig, which is Motherwell, just outside of Glasgow. So Lewis was one of ten gold medalists that we had at last year's Junior and Youth Championships, which were held in England. Uh, that was the most we'd ever won uh, Team Scotland at a combined Junior and Youth GB Championships. So we'd be hoping to try and replicate that success or surpass it, yeah. potentially. Lewis is one of eight returning champions for Scotland. Eight of those ten were entered back into this year's. Uh, obviously, a lot of them were maybe junior champions who are now up at youth, like like Lewis. Um, although one of them is actually withdrawn, so Drew Limond was a champion last year. Unfortunately, Drew this morning withdrew from the championships, as did Max Sleeth in the junior category. So Lewis in the red from uh, Rob Roy Boxing Club in Scotland. Not quite sure what club Corey Jones is from, from Wales in the blue, but I do know that he's the reigning 2023 Welsh Youth Champion, which were held a few weeks ago, so obviously you'll have a, a good pedigree coming into this contest. So reigning British champion versus reigning Welsh champion. Just a quick note on the uh, scoring. So we have five judges at ringside. Uh, the judges are made up from officials from Scotland, England and Wales. So it's certainly not all Scottish judges. And they've taken some care uh, this morning to make sure that um, there's neutrality. So for instance, there won't be more than two judges from any nation 
out of those five judging any one contest. So there will be a, an even split to maintain neutrality. Just before there's any accusations of uh, of bias or maybe all Scottish judges, that certainly not the case. And that's the that's the situation for all of the GB Championships. So it was the same last week in Rotherham. The Scottish judges went down uh, to help out. And we welcome officials from England and Wales this weekend. Um, and also on the scoring, it's closed scoring. So we, unlike maybe some of the major international competitions, we do not know what the scores are as the rounds go on. Um, I know obviously European Championships or World Championships, the scores come up round by round and you can kind of follow it. Um, we, we don't know. I'm sitting here right now, I have no idea if somebody's maybe two rounds up or if it's one round all. Um, so we'll kind of find out the result as you do at the end of the contest. So we're about to go into the third and final round here in this male bantamweight semi-final. Lewis Wardrop from Scotland in the red versus Corey Jones from Wales in the blue. Feels a little bit weird maybe that the, the Scottish boxers in the red and the Welsh boxers in the blue. Um, obviously that's just part of the computer draw, red blue corner. Um, so. There's no national team colours, as it were. They'll, they'll be wearing either red or blue, and that'll be solely dictated on the way that the, the computer drew the, the running order for this weekend's competition. It does always feel a little bit more natural to see Scotland in the, in the blue colours, and obviously Wales in the red. Um, but hopefully, hopefully that's not confusing anybody at home. So this is the Boxing Scotland official YouTube channel, um, streamed in partnership with uh, JATV. Thanks very much to Jamie O'Neill for his help again getting these streams up and going. <laughs> Jamie's not going quiet, he's just fixing some technical stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> so you've just got me. Uh, to take you through this contest. It's certainly been fought at a slower pace than our opening contest, which was uh, certainly started very, very fast with Alex Pumphrey getting the decision over Tamsin Quigley. Bit more of a technical battle here. Obviously I've not seen Corey Jones before, but I've seen Lewis, very good technical southpaw boxer. So this pace will will suit him um, to be able to pick his shots. But you know it's it's been reasonably even. So it'll be interesting to see how the scorecards get us. I'm assuming we're going to go to the scorecards here with not too long left in the third and final round. Just a quick update there from uh, Ring B with the junior semi-finals. You maybe caught that. Obviously, you can see in the picture Ring B. Um, I'm not sure how much of Craig Stephen or MC for today you picked up, but that was Gavin Alexander from Wales getting the decision over Kieran Wiley from Scotland in the junior 46 kilogram semi-final. That means. Uh, that Gavin will go through to tomorrow's final where he will box Humza Malik from England.
So ladies and gentlemen, here we go with the introductions. Contest number three, ring number two. Three two minute rounds. Semi-final. GB Juniors White Flyweight 48 kilo division. Referee for this one, Mr. Roy Forsyth. Introducing in the red corner, representing Scotland, Aaron Sarwa. So it's Craig uh, introduces oh, ring number uh, two. We move straight back to ring number one, the result of contest number two. We have a unanimous decision. It goes in favour of the winner who is through to the final in the blue corner, Corey Jones. And please, ladies and gentlemen, in appreciation, Scotland's Lewis Wardle.